get all of the questions or probably questions before suggestions um, at one time and then we'll start letting them answer them whoever needs to. So if you want to raise your hand, if you have a question or a suggestion on how to do something differently, um, we'd be happy to hear it. I have one. I need to know what the procedure is for picking up the GT kids after school or after GTs. Okay. I, um, I want to know if we are or are not going to be allowed inside the building once we show our uh, ID. Uh, I want to know if the items are seriously going to be left outside because I'm not leaving like lunch money something. or backpack outside. Okay. Uh, I want to know why our police officers don't have access to those to it or keep. I want to know why our fire department doesn't have it. I want to know why there's no protocol working with those two groups together for this. I'm not against a security system, don't get me wrong. I think it's great, you know, it keeps it just any Joe Blow from walking in there, but I'm not comfortable with the fact that you guys have it locked down and my police chief can't get in, or my fire chief can't get in. I don't, I'm not comfortable with that at all. Okay. Uh, let's see. When this bond issue passed, was this intended for a kindergarten building? Because I do not remember that at all. No one I talked to remembered that this was going to be a kindergarten building. Okay. Grades in our building. Okay, but not Which kindergarten. Ever, no. And because kindergarten was over there. Yes, correct? but we had, we were still going to move kindergarten. But we looked at the fifth grade annex. If this had been a fifth grade center, uh -huh. your kindergarten would now be in the fifth grade annex. But we did not have the bathroom facilities to hold that many children because you only have four stalls in the girls' restroom. Right. Where now you have the access between the two bit, the two <coughs> classrooms as well. You have your other restrooms, which are right around here. Plus the, okay. fifth grade, plus the fifth grade annex, that bond was for fifth grade. For fifth grade. Mm -hmm. that, so, so that and the classrooms that. were so small at the <clears throat> elementary that you would not want to house a kindergarten class in there. Okay, well another concern, because I do have a little one that's going to be coming uh -huh. up. I am not comfortable at all with her being walked back and forth <laughs> and back and forth and back and forth. Are they going to have lunch in here or are they going to be walking back and forth? back and forth. Right now it is back and forth. If we, it's pouring down rain and it's their lunch time, are they walking back and forth? That we have talked about having sack lunches catered to them over here. So we are in discussion on that. Okay, when we knew we were going to make it a kindergarten building and have the babies, why was there not uh, an awning put to at least get them back and forth? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable with orange cones being the safety zone for my kid. That is not always going to be there. The, the city, we are, uh, Mayor Clayson is going to visit with the city about this becoming our road. At this time, this is 17th Street, it is not our road. As soon as it becomes our road, it will be gated. Okay, okay. but we don't know when that's going to happen. Correct. Hopefully in the next month. Okay. Yes. Okay. There's no school nurse in this building either. I mean, is Michelle There's still not, the only one? Yeah, I'm just saying. One, yes. Okay, but she still, serves, they'll go back and forth. She and serves and forth. all buildings. Yes, ma'am. Pre-K through 12. Okay. Pre-K through 12. Well, those are the main questions. Like I said, I don't... You know, if there's a protocol where someone's in there, what? that's my question. Let's say someone gets in that building. The doors are locked. How do our police get in? As of right this minute, how do they get in? Without busting the doors down if they had to. How do they get in? One button and the door's open. They know what button can to push I, to get it can open. I have to something. I just talked with Mr. Bullard and, uh, and uh, about them getting in and stuff. They will have a car. Should they have already had one? Probably so. Yes. I'm not totally in charge of this, but just like I talked with him earlier out there, they will have a car. Probably in your case, what do we say, one in each truck, and the police will have one in each one of their cars, so that this will scan 
we've had a couple of three issues. Remember, this is our third day with these things. I understand that, but my concern is all of these things were not taken care of before you put this in place. To me, that would have been a priority. They, they were taken care of. We've just had a little issue with these things for three days. Well, I was told that they've been, we need to get you a key, we need to get you a key, we need to get you a key, but nobody's got them the key. They'll have one tomorrow. And if, if we're at fault of that, we apologize for that. And do you have a protocol to, fo to follow with the guys? Have we you have worked a safety with our fire? Plan. We have a safety plan in place. We have the fire system. department and the police department we have that you with work that. together with? And it needs to be worked on <laughs> okay. weekly, daily, or whatever. David and I have been working on it. We have a protocol. We'll get to them. we got their cell numbers. We'll get to them. 911 is the best thing anybody can do in a lot of instances. We have that. Is it perfect? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. But our main priority are these children. Well, that's our Believe me, these two children. ladies here that are running this show down here, they're on top of it, especially in their building. I know you have a lot of concerns there. That's why I think this is a real good meeting for people to ask. Well, sure. We but don't any, I want y'all to, everybody sitting here, Mr. Noble, superintendent, I'm just a federal program director. I do some of the safety stuff. It's very easy, too, if there's a concern. Pick the phone up and call us. We've tried. You've I've tried? tried. Yes, I, tried I don't know of a call that's but, coming. No, I... Oh, Everyone tells okay. me to call Mr. Noble, oh, so okay. that's who I tried to call. Okay. But, but call. Call me or anything if I can help transfer. If he's not there, I can get the <laughs> message to him. But yeah, these little things have been a little bit of a situation. We hadn't had it before. Maybe we didn't look at it as 100% perfect. But I know one thing. These kids are protected. That's our concern for anybody in that place over there. And, if, and I know some of y'all maybe have been would you say offended by not being able to go in and stuff? But in the past, that's been like a mall over there. People will walk in. I've been over there before and people walk in. I know you got kids there. They took them in, they'll just start walking down the walking down the hall without even checking into the lady. Yeah, that's right. There's like a gray area. We had to leave one over there. I'm talking yes, I'm talking about in the past. The two people just walk in, do that. But, and I know that's going to be hard to get used to, but but that's just the way we're going to do it. So if we do show the ID, we we still now, can't I'm not. Uh, yes, we can but come in. This now. is the protocol. We say, and and not everyone has to use the ID because we know you. Right. There are some people that come to pick up their children that might be different than what we are used to. Mm -hmm. If, why we put that on the note, so no one would get offended if we said, would you please show your ID? So if we know you, we will say, can we help you? I need to pick up so-and-so. Mm -hmm. We are going to call them to the front. If you would like, you may come inside the door to sit and wait. Okay? okay. But so, well, many don't parents don't want us to they, they're, they're like, no, and just and get them out some, here quick. There's some have been like, you know. well, I'm signing them out right here. Just send them out and wait right here. Because they and, want and it some want very right quickly because they're so, trying to get to an So there's an option. Okay, well, we so were just going by the program. note that was sent out. I know that. Yes, can at, I help you? At programs, like when they have parties or something You will school, be, like, just you, as usual. You will get to come on through. I mean, but you're not going to check everybody at the door. How is that? You know what we will do, it would take, it would be very time consuming exactly. so if we did that, so you will still be allowed to come to your party. Do you think we should not allow? No, I'm not How do you think? at all that right now you're, I mean, I'm all for yes, the security yes, okay. You're filtering people, like you said, you don't yes. know everybody's face. So when you let this big group of people in, how are you going to We would that? not be secure at that point. So that's what a school district has to decide when we allow to have Christmas parties, Halloween parties, which is all good for our kids, but when we decide to do that, the buildings become less secure. Do you not feel that that hurts relationship between the parents that's and why, the teachers? That's why we are still, are you talking about... Um, you can still come back to you. You can still come no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, Okay. Are you talking about party situations? No, I just mean we, that there's a there's a gray area between where we were because yes, I, I agree that it would be very easy to access the the inside of the school, but as far as a gray area, because I mean personally, a month ago, I felt like this was a home for my kids, mm -hmm. 
a month ago. I I could feel completely disconnected. Okay. I mean, and I can't be the only parent that okay. feels that way. Yeah, what makes you feel that way? The door being locked? Well, getting a note that says, we okay, we want parents to be involved. We want help. We want votes. We want new things. Here's your note. Sorry, you're going to have to wait outside. So is it the delivery? Was it no, the, delivery? Was the delivery? The delivery. Okay. The delivery was well, we apologize yeah. on that. We just wanted to get the procedures out so that people would not be offended when we came. That was the intent of the note, was to get our procedures out to the public and you would not be offended when we asked for an ID because we had never done that before. I don't think anyone I've talked to has been offended that an ID was being okay. asked for. Okay. Not one person. Another question I had, and I may totally be, you guys may have three, and I didn't uh -huh. get to know. I mean, mm -hmm. this was a pretty major deal. To send a note home with the kids, because I know I didn't get mine. I'm sure I'm not the only parent. You know, when there's a bond issue, or you guys want money for this, or you want money for that, our Facebooks are blown up, there are signs everywhere, there are articles from Bruce to the Henry Freelance to everything. Like I said, maybe you guys did that and I didn't catch any any of it. One note. We got one note about it. Not one meeting with the parents. Not, I mean, did we not feel that this was something pretty major that maybe we needed more than just a note sent out about? Well, I think that in my thought, and I might have been totally wrong on this, and I will be honest, I felt like most... <coughs> School districts have security systems, so I felt like we were behind the times. So I thought people would be welcoming it, and maybe it was a perception of, from me that the note in the intent, the, the delivery might have been wrong, and where you did not welcome it. But in the majority of your school systems today, you will have security systems. We even visited one school where we walked in. By the time we walked in, you scanned your ID, mm -hmm. and they did a check, and you knew if um, they did a background check before you ever entered the building. Right. So, you know, I think it might have been just my perception of people welcoming this, that just someone could not come in and be right on us. You guys don't understand, we have had several cases where we have had people in the buildings that you, they appear, I'm not saying they were, they appear to be under some type of influence. Mm -hmm. oh, that is that. very scary when I have 200 first and second grade students in my cafeteria and I have this parent in our lobby and our kids are right there with them. So I think it was probably my perception, and I will apologize for that, that it was my perception that this would be welcomed. Well, and I don't think it's not being welcomed. Not one person has okay. said, I hate this new system. Okay. I hate that they've added more security. Yes. I think the thing was that other than a note, we weren't informed. It wasn't, so you know, you parents, rather have what do you think? Okay. Let us know something. Okay. Instead but, of, these are our children. This here. was at the board. The board is, pa they passed this. So. And that was our fault because, you because know, we didn't go up and yes, check the door yes, on the agenda. Yes, that okay. was. But like I said, when there's a bond yeah. issue that wants to be passed or teachers want raises, which I totally voted for, just so all of you all know that. <laughs> so there, I totally voted for that. You know, we are hit left and right and left okay. and vote and do, and we need your support and we need, and this was nothing. So what I'm hearing from this meeting, whenever we are going to do something like this, you would welcome a parent meeting Absolutely. before we ever. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And I, I am still very concerned about these kids being tracked back and forth and back and forth. You know, and, you know let's say you, if I'm a crazy nut and I want to cause harm on children, I'm not going to worry about your security code. I'm not even going to jack with that. Why? When I got about 50 sitting ducks walking back and forth across the street six times what a day. What about our recess? That's exactly what I was going to ask. I mean, we, we go outside to play. Yeah, so but at least they're in a gated 
area. You see what I'm saying? I can't just run and knock three of y'all over with my car, grab three kids, and take off. I mean, if we're going to go to what if, what if, what if. So you would know. you feel better if it was gated? I would feel better if it was gated. I would feel better if there was someone like Roger Williams out there at all times when my little girl is being across the street. I'm sorry. I want, you know, if my, if Roger Williams comes to take Jamie Wheeler down, she's going to be knocked down. I want to know that my little girl is protected. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? I want to know that. I'm not going to count on two little orange cones. Have you ever gone to any other districts to see yes. the amount of walking that they want? Yes, my children haven't just gone to Henry. Okay. Because really, our kids do not walk very much. When That's you look quite at, a few times for when you ones. When you look at different districts, and they do go into a cafeteria, and they also, but that is something that Mr. Noble and I will discuss, is an awning mm -hmm. and putting at an least awning that would up the rain out of, so know. that they would not be in the train, I mean in the rain. I think our transition has gone very smooth with kindergarten being in the new building and with us feeding in the cafeteria, with us being able to now house um, our uh, activity time in the elementary. They're not put on a bus any longer. And if you would have seen that, you would have seen all three classes on one bus and then two more classes were on another bus. We had a lot of discipline issues during that transition time. And it cut their activity time short. It cut their activity time short. Now that we're walking, it has been delightful. Well, let me ask you, delightful. I know that water runs off right here. <laughs> Yes. Right down here, it freezes and all that. Do we have something taken care of we that yet? Because that's been ongoing. And then Mr. Noble would have to check our maintenance, ice melt. Yeah. Uh -huh. we, uh, we put ice melt on there when it gets cold. Because you're talking about where it comes down the hill right Right. Well, and I've seen the teachers, you know, they can't even walk in their heels mm -hmm. down there because right. they're yeah. about to fall. And, and then we're going to track the kids. You know, that's a safety issue too. It's icy. Yeah, there's, there's nothing we, we can't stop the water because it seeps through. The only thing we can do is put the ice, or the uh, ice melt down. But and we've also looked at the awning, and um, we'd have to make it really high. And if it was raining, the rain would come at an angle to get the kids wet because it would be so high. Anyway. Well, there's got to be some kind of solution for that. I mean, there has to be, mm -hmm. other than it's pouring rain and either they get a sack lunch or they get a warm lunch when they go across the school, you know. I think we built two new buildings. Yes. We can figure out an yeah. awning. Um, first of all, I would say that this is the first time I've been in here and it's beautiful. I'm very glad that my daughter has it. Um, I'm also very glad we have the security system because, I mean, we're not going to have a Fort Lauderdale situation here, hopefully. Um, so I, I, I mean, I'm for the thing. I understand about the lack of communication. We've always had an issue with that here. I've always felt like, but I feel like, I mean, I could totally be wrong, but I'm a lot, I'm a logic person. This seems like this area right here. I don't know what it's used for, but um, there, I don't even know how many students are in here. But it looks like it's a pretty good size, like it was at Oaks, and I feel like it would be less evasive to take a couple of. Um, cooks or cafeteria workers and bring them over here to serve our 50-something kids and take 50-something kids and take them across the street. I think, I, I like, feed them, like, like she's saying, why why does Allison deserve a sack lunch whenever our yeah. boss and our kids exactly. chicken fingers and that's not fair. Only if it's right. I mean, I mean, only if it was I mean, and Kelly, that's not And that was a suggestion. Okay. Absolutely. And I think that's also going to ask for a whole lot of awning to go from one side of the street to the other side of that. And I just think that's an eyesore. And if it was like the, like Morris, Morris's elementary is right here, right over here is their cafeteria, then that would be different. That awning situation would be different. I just think that the, the, the eating and the going back and forth with small children, I, I don't even care about the fences, I don't even care about the cones. I'm talking about, I feel like it was easier to take three so adults over here and feed them catering style than it would be to take a whole building of small students and put them over here. What happens, you know, during, you know, you could have kids that, you know, in the cold, 
their immune systems are very strong. Or in the, in the heat, you, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I feel like that that situation needs to be looked at just a little bit better. Um, I mean, I, I, I agree. But again, I want to positive. I want to say it, this is beautiful. I'm so thankful we have it. Um, I know that there's other areas that need to be what we, one, one day at a time, one foot at a time. I, I get that. And I'm all about it. I'm all about support. Um, but I think that that area is the, what bothers me the most is that I worry about Allison crossing the street. I mean, it takes that quick as you, that quick for something to go wrong. And I just think it would, it's to take adults to bring them over here and to take 50 something and go over there when it's already crowded. You already, you already know how crowded it is. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just saying. I was just okay. And right. like we said, you know, this wasn't a bash the school type deal. Them. It was just the questions that <laughs> yes, we had. Yes. And I think parents have an access to come in because I'm not leaving Addie's lunch money in a tote outside. Yes. Yes. She's had her money stolen from her backpack in the hallway with cameras, mm -hmm. you know, and thinks that's not it. Another thing, like I said, Rick said they're addressing that in the, mor in the morning, not having our police and fire have those keys to get in and not having a protocol worked at, that is my main concern right there. That is something I do not like, that I am not happy about. But if it's going to be worked and be solved, then that takes care of that problem. We have a hand in the back. Yes, we are waiting. Um, I'm, I come and pick up my two girls after school program. Mm -hmm. I don't have an issue with the security thing. Yes. I think it's great. Okay. All for the protection of the kids. My only concern is I know doctor's office do, does it this way. Is my child's first and last name being on that board outside for all to see? I don't know if we can maybe figure out a number system or that student's ID. Maybe just put it in, instead of their my child's first and last name. Maybe her parent, whatever they prefer. But I don't like that my two girls' names is first and last name right out there for all to see. Like I said, if they're student ID and I can initial, you know, that would be. Okay. You know, that's just my concern. Okay. You know what I mean? We will work on that. Okay, yes. <laughs> I will work on that. The yes. students do have a student ID now. So yes, they do. And they, they do have a and student ID. And they have it. That's, that's a much better idea. <laughs> it's their, it's their, AR, it's their <laughs> AR password. So we can, we can handle that very easily. Okay. Any other? Yes. yes. I just need to go over, like, what happened this morning yes. with my daughter. And just to know that that's going to be yes. changed and not going to happen again. Yes. Um, so that you said there's going to be three teachers out there in the mornings. Yes, we will have three people on duty. Uh, Miss Dwiggins will be assigned to kindergarten students. So when they get out of the cars, she will be assisting them to this door where okay. Jamie Austin will be here until 8 o'clock. We have a secretary on duty as well, but Jamie Austin will be here getting the students into the building. These are the students that do not eat breakfast, okay? So I don't want people to get confused. So, but she will be here, she will bring them in, and they will sit right here until 745. Your child does not have to be here until 745, okay? That's when our teachers get here is 745. We do have people on duty at 7.30 to get your student. Now, if your student or your child, if they are eating breakfast, they can come to the cafeteria at 7.30. How do okay. they get there from here? If they're, we if they're dropped walk, off? We walk them across. Okay, so they'll come here and then be all walked no, across? No, no, no. no. Come come straight straight they, come, they cross and they come straight into the cafeteria. They get breakfast and they sit with all kindergarten. <laughs> But the teachers students. from now on will be between this door and the road, Nikki not Dwiggins. just yes. in the road. Yes. Yes. And so they won't, it won't happen to where they're locked no. out again no. and not know what to do. No, it will not. Nikki Dwiggins is on till 8.05 and my duty people are off at 8.05. So if you get here after 8.05, you would need to park in the parking lot and then walk well, with she, your child she to the door. Rides the bus. Yeah, this morning we got the house in city. For yes, because this was all four eight o'clock. This was like seven. Yeah, seven forty-five. Yes, seven fifty. Yes, yeah. because Nikki Dwiggins was not right. here today. But so yeah, we. There was nobody at the door. So lack of communication. Well, well, it is Miss um, Dana was in here, but she was on the phone. Oh, okay. So she could not get to the door. Okay. 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 
And that is the secretary at this building. Okay. So if a little one, I'm just asking for Allie when she does get up here, if it stays like it is, <clears throat> you drop them off in this aisle it, and then somebody walks them back across if they want to eat breakfast? Okay. Or do you drop them off closest over there? You drop them off closest, you over, there them off closest okay. over there. Well, if they they're said eating this was the lane for this school, well, so yeah. that's why I was wondering. Well, yeah. Unless they're eating breakfast. <clears throat> Unless they're eating breakfast. <clears throat> yes. okay. I didn't eat. Yes. Anybody yes. else? Any other questions? Do you yes, have me? somebody, like Nikki's watching this side, but our little kindergartners are lollygaggers, and when they're supposed to be going that way, they're hoping Mama's going to let them back <clears throat> in the car. Okay. And so if there's somebody that's corralling from the fence on, okay, you know, we I will kinda, do that. You know, the, over there, the ladies are so good over there to greet the kids and get them to push on in the door. And so they have longer to wander off like little okay. kitties over we will, there. We will get someone there tomorrow morning. Is the yeah. option of starting the kindergarten a little later to, to maybe relieve some of that stress out there? Some school districts do have it to where you know they can start at 820 staggered times. Mm -hmm. That would be a decision that Mr. Noble and really the school that. board. Yes, yeah, but I we can, can talk about that. Would, that would help. Uh, okay. Especially when you're dropping them all on yeah, the same. That would probably help the mass chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you call and water and then, you know, we brought it. If they do, they do the rest of Everybody yeah, yeah. is. That would relieve them. That would relieve them. And everything else. I think, yeah. if we, yeah. I think if we did that, then, I think that the kindergarten would have to be the last. I think it would yes. be easier. But, then, uh, but wouldn't that be difficult on parents so that have like an elementary kid and a kindergarten kid? It kind of would be harder. Because yeah. mm -hmm. if you have two different, you're not going to go home and come back and drop your other kid off. It would be hard to around. Well, it's not really any different, though, than parents that get their kids out here and then have to wait for the high school. You know, they find a way and just, I know my kids, okay, this is where I'm going to be, just walk down here. Because the way everything's let out, and this is a one way, and that's a way, it is a nightmare. You know, the way it is around here it just is. But with your kid, you find out your little nooks, okay, meet me here, meet me here, you know. And I used to park there, and everybody, oh, you can't park here. Well, sorry, yeah, I am. You know, I'm not going to run over anybody's kid, and I'm parked way out here, so yeah, I'll get my kid number. You know, but when there's a hundred one ways, and don't go here past 430, you got to, you know, do what you got to do. Sir? Yeah, I just uh, had a question, because I, I know in light of the school board having lots of cuts in recent history, and then they agreed to put the security system in, which I'm all for. But my question is, was there some incident that prompted them to decide to go ahead and get that in as quickly as they did? I can answer that. Yes. No, there wasn't no incident that prompted that. Uh, when we did the bond, uh, two things helped us out quite a bit. Uh, number one, initially, when we uh, started selling bonds, we got a great interest rate. Um, just, it was really phenomenal. We didn't think we were going to get such a low interest rate. And then the second thing that helped us out was when we were building the process, and we're still doing the building, we, as, the sub, as the contractor started making bids, the bids came in great. So we were able to save some money um, on the great interest rate, and was also able to save some money on a lot of the different bids. So that freed up some money. Um, and so what we did was we thought, you know, since we have this, we want to um, uh, put in a, a security system, and the next step is if, if things keep falling in place like they have been falling, we're, we might have some money to put in a brand new camera system. And that would all be excess money off, off the bond. It's not coming out of our general fund. It's not coming out of any budget cuts or anything like that. It's simply that we got great interest rates uh, when we start selling our series bonds. Because our school uh, so, is too small where we can't just pass a $10 million bond. We've got to do it in a series bond over the course of the years. And so our interest rates were great. Um, our bids that came in uh, were good when we, like for example, for masonry work, what we thought was going to pay this X amount of money, well the bids came in a little lower and kept doing this. We started saving a little bit of money. I'm not talking a lot, but enough where we could do what we did. And if it keeps working out and we get this building finished up in, say, April, let's just say it happens in April, that will save us money. And uh, if we come in on some lower bids on some finishing products up here, I would like to put in a, a new security camera system throughout the entire school system. Uh, the camera system we have now is ancient. It's not a very good uh, system at all. And um, it's the day and age we live in. We're just trying to keep kids safe. Um, we don't want to panic anybody. We, we want to be proactive. Um, we don't want to be uh, have an incident where we think, why didn't we do that when we had this little extra money? Uh, we're trying to be good stewards of the, of the money and be a good steward. Um, we thought, well, 
it sounds like a cliche, but when you think about all the uh, tragedies that's happened in this country, what, a, what, a, what, what better way to, to spend a few extra dollars to keep the kids safe? And that was the whole, po the whole point. And we're not uh, security experts. We're school teachers. You know, we do the best we can. And you know, there's glitches, and we're sorry about that. But our intentions are um, to keep the kids, when they come to the school system, to be safe. And like this room we're sitting in right here, right now, uh, you know, God forbid we do have a tornado, but if it does, your kids are going to be, this is the safest place in town, right here. And, and this, this, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, this, this building right here is a safe room. Um, it will house all the elementary kids. Well, the, element, the, the early childhood will stay down there because they have their own they safe room. Their, oh, they do have safe Yeah, they have one over there. Mm -hmm. The kindergarten kids would just stay in the building. The other kids would come to it. Um, and with technology today, with the radar systems and things like that, we, we'd have enough notice to be able to get the kids in here. And there, there is, we can physically get all the staff, students, faculty, everybody in this building. And that's why you see those doors, those will latch shut. And this is that's one thing, that's one way we keep the kids safe. Um, and the second would be the, the trying to act, getting access to the building, try to limit that. And the third thing, it's what I really want to do is put a nice, good camera system across the entire district. Um, inside and out, um, simply because we want to be proactive. And it wasn't, a, there was no incident that happened. I hope, as long as I'm in Henrietta, it never does happen. I hope we never have a tornado. I hope we never have to put these kids in here and lock these doors down. But you know what? If we have to, I know that every person on this hill is safe. And with, this, with the STEM building being finished, all the middle school, high school, faculty, staff, they can all go in that building. So, in my mind, that's the great thing. And, and I, we're sorry that, that things didn't go as perfect as planned. I mean, we tried. We really did. Um, but we did it with good intentions. And we built this building for good intentions. Um, we feel like we want to make a, a, a facility where uh, parents are, um, feel safe dropping their kids off, uh, where kids feel good that they can learn uh, at. We don't, uh, kids come in here, things nice and new and bright and clean. And uh, schools need that shot in the arm sometimes, and this district needs it. And um, with our new STEM program, that's not just for high school, middle school guys. That's for elementary too. They can use that building for their science projects, their math projects, all of that. We have geared that from the pre-K through the 12th grade. So everyone can use that STEM program starting this year, as soon as it's finished. Um, and next year, um, we just want to hit the ground running with it. And I, I don't know when it's going to be finished this year, but whenever it is finished, we're not going to delay. We're going to move in and let the kids start using that elementary all the way up. So uh, we're, doing, we're doing things to keep your kids safe the best we can. Um, and when the security cameras, if we, you know, knock on wood, we have the money to do this, uh, I think we will, but if we, we will, I promise, we'll send out notes and we'll say new camera systems are coming in. Um, there's going to be some guys in the buildings putting cameras up and things like that. Because if you look at our system now, it's, it's really old. And it's really not that good of a system. How about the been... high school? Do we still have kids in portable buildings? No. I have a child in middle school, but I don't know. I saw where it has, what is it, ISD on the... Well, the only, thing we, only thing we use the portables there? now uh, is we have um, the um, well, concurrent enrollment for the uh, OSU IT. Mm -hmm. We have that, and I think it's just a couple afternoons a week. That's what the, they're. That's what we have them there for. And you know, I don't think every. It, well, no one was in attack mode tonight. We came asking about this building because mm -hmm. there are so many people in this town. We get told, "Oh, the bond issues for this. It's going to be this." Mm -hmm. The board convinces of it, and the minute it's passed, it's turned mm -hmm. into something else. Well, the new gym. We were going to have the new gym that you guys probably weren't on the board then. The old gym was going to turn into classrooms. Mm -hmm. No more portable buildings. Oh, sorry, the roof isn't going to work out. That can't happen. Now we have a gym with no air conditioning. You know, that, it's been for on years that, on. Well, on that one, they were going to have to bring the whole building up to current code. To make That's that fine. But we were still told I know. I know. that, that is what was going to be done. It was a change of administration. Also, yeah, yeah but we were so bad beforehand. Right. You know, and that's why people get to where they're like, no, we're tired of it. When, and when this building, changes. when we were talking about <coughs> who to house this building, 
one of the things, and we did have a lot of meetings and and visit, and, and it changed, and it changed the whole. So yes, it did. It about. did. Right. But we wanted kindergarten in this building so they would be safe. In the they have the smallest legs, so if we would have had them in the annex, they would have had the longest walk to get to this building. And so the tornadoes. Tornadoes. that's so, a long walk for them. Yes. Um, we, we felt like the really older kids could right. get here quicker than they could. And and originally when we were planning it, we were we were thinking about fifth grade because we were trying to look at how can we take them from elementary to the um, to the middle school. It's a big jump. What can we do to help them make it from that fifth grade to sixth grade jump? And that was our original thought. We always knew this was going to be an educational building. And then we started thinking of logistically. And as a matter of fact, at one time we even thought about building it over here. And then because of the lay of the land and different soil samples yes. and whatnot, the we thought we could have here. Yes, the main sewer yes. lines were Yeah, the sewer lines. And so we ended up having to put it in the spot. So we wanted it connected. Yeah, originally. We wanted it right by the cafeteria, but we couldn't because of the sewage system, the way it's right. set up. Then we've had to have changed the, so it would been a huge, it would have been, it would have been, it cost too much to do the sewer system because originally where the little awning thing is, that's where this building we originally wanted to put it. Mm -hmm. But with all the cost, we wouldn't have been able to afford to build this nice little place. It would have been smaller. Then, but then if it's smaller, we wouldn't be able to fit all the kids in for a safer. Well, like I said, that's something I would like to see change. The kids being walked back, or at least some kind of protection over them because it's not going to be but two years a year my little one's going to be here. Okay, and I'd like to see that change. And like I said, I want to know for sure that David Bullard and Steve Norman and their men have access to that school at all times if need be. And that there's some protocol to follow. Because I know they've got their own, but I want to know it's a group effort to where, okay, we know they're coming, they've got their key, this is the game plan to go. Not, okay, well, let's hope somebody calls 911 and they get here and who has the key? Have we got a key yet? You know, I don't want that. So those are my concerns. Any other questions, concerns, suggestions? I did not. Uh, you had a question about the GT. Yes. I don't know if you were going to send something home or. Okay. Did, when you walked up to the door today, mm -hmm. did you? Uh, well, I just walked up and waited, thinking my child was probably going to come out. And well, the lady in front of me rings it and says, "Who's she?" So I'm thinking, "Well, maybe I need to ask that." Okay. So I go up, push it, and say, "You know, do I wait here? Are you going to send them all out or?" Or what's, what do I need to do? And the lady just says, who are you here to pick up? Okay. <laughs> I still don't know what I need to do, you know. Yes. Are you going to send them all out or do I need to push the button? She, she, said, said, she did come kind of tell me that the parents were out there and we were wrapping up and I yeah. said we're on our way. And then we came out as a group. Yes, but I, don't, I didn't know that. I, mean, I, I don't know how we were going to do it. We always exactly. come out as a group, mm -hmm. always. Every yes. Monday we come I out I usually always am there waiting early. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just what I do. I'm there to pick him up. But. So the you, that change. That will not change. So okay, so what? You're going to send them all out? And the teacher well, will teach out. In her defense, Linda was filling in today. Mary was absent. So today was her break. She didn't even know how to work the system, hardly, to push the buttons and stuff like that, from what I understood. So that may be why she didn't know whether to let you in or not. I mean, I'd still Which I didn't ask to go in. in. I just need to know what to do next time. Do I just stay in my vehicle and wait for them to come out? It's, or? it's whichever you prefer. So at that point, because it's after school, it's what after we're saying school. is the normal yes. protocol is a little bit different. They come out as a group, and the teacher's always with them, and that that's what's going to continue. Yes. But today, I guess, was just an exception or a perfect well, storm of situation. Yeah, Did you walk up as a group? Okay. Okay. So the battle is there. Are they going to let the let the kids out of the front door before the parents is there and let them wait outside? I always say that. I'm always the teachers. The teacher. The whoever it is, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Adams or Mrs. Brooks. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Brooks. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Um, it is with the smaller children. Uh -huh. um, and then Mrs. Burton. She has to come out. Yeah. Mrs. Burton comes out with the older children. <laughs> Anybody else? And feel free if something comes to mind or you have something you would like to add to email. I'm sure yes. you can email any of the board members. They would like this information, I'm sure, because they speak for all of us and they represent all of us. And, and so speak with them, speak with uh, any of the administration, speak with the PTO. We'd be happy to get the information to them. I, I think maybe another meeting in the future to address some of these once they've had an idea, a uh, time to set some of these ideas up. Let's do that because really we're all here for the same reason. Feeling, I mean, I was there the first day when the 
doors were locked and I buzzed in and there's a little bit of panic when you realize, no matter where you are, when you realize there's a locked door between you yes. and my kids and then you just take a step back and go, okay. You'd rather nobody can physically, no, nobody can legally keep me away from my child. Nobody's mm -hmm. trying to keep me away from my child. I just have to say, hey, here's what I need. First time it was the same thing. I was not invited in. I didn't ask to go in. It was okay. I just thought, okay, I'll wait until come get her lunch. And she did. Another time, just this morning, there was a, uh, the man who has taken, yes, Mr. Sidman was there. And he didn't know me. I showed him my ID. I walked right in. So it's going to take some getting used to. I think we're all happy for it. We just are confused by some of it and have some suggestions and sometimes just don't understand the reasons why they made the choices they did. So I think the board members probably need to get to their meeting. Um, like I said, if you have anything else, please let us know and we will post when we have another meeting to kind of address and wrap up and give some solutions. Where are the agendas for the board meetings posted? Online. Are they online? And they're on the front door of the. Front, well, I need to get online to find it because I wasn't sure. They're not good online, I don't believe. They're not online? I thought they were posted. Can we get those posted online? We can do that. Can we do that? Because there's a lot of parents that are like, oh, well, we didn't even know when the meeting was or what's the agenda? What's on it? A lot of parents don't even oh, know what an agenda is. Yeah, it's always the second one. It's always the second one. It's always the board meeting. Okay. And if, if you would, it was in our handbook too. Our handbook has a list of all okay. the dates. Of the well, I'm just talking the agenda itself. But I meant to know the date. And if you would feel more comfortable to buzz and to ask to come in and have a seat, you are more than welcome. Well, thank to. you. I, mean, I don't want anyway. I'm so I'm, I don't I'm want you to feel them. like you yeah. are shunned because yeah. you are not. <laughs> so you just push the button. Just say I'm here to pick up um, my son from GT. Okay. And uh, we will allow you to come in. Okay. Well, I, okay. Just, I just didn't know what to do. It doesn't matter to me. That's a hitting. I want to say. Yes. I just wanted to say something about the box outside. We have a lot of parents that want to come and bring shoes or like the homework, and they're in a hurry. They don't want to come inside, and that's what the box outside is really designed for. If you've got medicine, or you know you need to talk to the nurse personally. Or other things like that that's important. You're coming. You're going to come in. But we do have lots of kids that, that they forget their homework or they forgot their tennis shoes for PE practice, and the parents are they're in a run, and so it saves them a little bit of time. So if they just set it outside, I'm going to run out there and get it. It's not going to stay. That's the same with lunch money. So it's never intended for the purpose of medicine stay outside. I. You know, if the nurse is there, then I'm responsible for that medicine. I wouldn't want anybody to go out there and grab and take it. So, you it's know, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It. It's yeah. just to save you some time, not to have to come. And then I've got to, you know, if the nurse happens to be, say, over here and someone comes there with medicine, then I've got to put it up and make sure it's put up so no one gets a hold of it. So that, that's what the box is for, is for people that's on the run. Where's this box at? I've never seen a box. It's out by the front door. It's I bring it in when I leave. Oh, okay. it, yeah. it's, it's just a plastic tub that has a lid on it. It's just a rubber bank. Yeah. But so probably by the time you get there to get your daughter, I brought it in. Mr. If there is excess money left on that bond, does it have to be spent on the security system you're talking about, or can it be spent on something else, like maybe on, books uh, or something? Well, or, bond money has to be, if you're getting left over, it has to be spent on anything that will improve the physical uh, facilities. And you have to spend 85% of your bond money on what you said you had to do, or what you said you was going to do. Spent. And if there's anything left over, uh, if, you know, say there was 15% or whatever you said. Uh, it has to be spent on anything that uh, uh, benefits the buildings, like air conditioners, camera system, carpet, um, uh, things like that. It can't be spent on school buses, uh, suburbans, teachers' salaries, hiring somebody, nothing like that. The only, th the only thing, it's, it's very, it's very uh, strenuous about what you can't spend as long as it's something to upgrade a building. We kind of upgrade it. Uh, if we want to remodel a bathroom, we can use it on something like that. So, and like, and our, our school, we have a lot of, all schools have a lot of needs in our building because they're getting older. Our high school is 60 some years old. So it's, there's, we have to spend money on things like that. Like we have four uh, heat exchangers out right now because they're, you know, 20 plus years old. Um, things like that. So, and we do have a building fund. 
which is separate from our general fund, and that's the money we, we uh, change light bulbs with, buy wax for the floors, all that kind of stuff. So it's a whole separate fund. But that's what, if, if there's anything extra, it has to go towards the physical upkeep, upgrade of the building. And I don't know of any school in Oklahoma that couldn't use a little upgrade. <laughs> the schools in Oklahoma are just underfunded. And we do the best we can for what we have, and that's why um, you make the most of it if you, when you have a bond. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Again, thank you guys for coming.